Okay, ready to set the cylinder now. Got the carburetor intake manifold and all that's already attached. Um, this is going to be a base gasket delete build. I've already got my three bond put on there. Pistons down. I oiled up the inside of the cylinder a little bit. So, get this oriented right so when I pick it up, I've also got my rings positioned onto the locating pins. Arrows to the muffler side, pins are to the piston side. Don't, don't always go by the, the arrow because I have seen the arrow actually be wrong. Get that down. I got it down from the top just a little bit, not a whole lot. Piston is all the way down. There we go. It's on. Raise that piston up now so I can get this off. There we go. Now I'll run the piston back down to the bottom. Make sure my throttle cable, I had it stuck in there to keep it out of the way. Throttle cable gets positioned over on that side. Okay. At this point we're just, I'll also put this bottom tray in first because if you don't put that in, you're never going to get it in with the cylinder set in place. So always put your bottom tray in first and it's a lot easier to put the carburetor Intake manifold assembly on before you set the cylinder down onto the crankcase. Okay. Cylinder bolts. didn't go in. So get my long needle, long nose, um, needle nose pliers here. Get down in there and lose it. Now it's clear down underneath the carburetor. I'm going to have to turn it sideways to get it back out. So I don't lose these other bolts, I'm going to tip it upside down. There it come. Now I'll put it in with my needle nose. Well, and lose it again. There she goes. Okay, so now I've got it set in. Knock them down just a little bit. I'm going to go 
go in an X pattern. See how much nicer this thing sets. It's able to, you're able to control it a lot better with the tank handle on it. It just it makes it so much easier. Okay, there's the cylinder set in place. Go ahead and hook up my throttle cable here while I'm right here. Pull my fuel line out. Hook it up while I'm right here. I need a nose to get that up on there a little piece. Go ahead and get your um, supports here, your back pins and your AV mounts and your rubber mounts here. There's that one. There's that one. Now while I'm right here, I didn't tighten up these three base plate bolts. I did not tighten this one up all the way because there's a ground that goes in there. I just kind of set it in place where I wouldn't lose it. Get that in place now. are open, choke works, hide works, I heard it click. Okay guys, you know it's pretty much just putting the rest of the stuff on it right now. I'll go on ahead and assemble the rest of it. I'm not going to do that on video, that's just you know, demographics so to say at that point. Um, you know what? I'm going to have to take that carburetor off. You all know what that is. That's the ring that goes down in to the intake to keep it from collapsing in on itself. But that's not too big of an issue. Um, let's just see if we can't do that right now. Kind of lay the, the assembly over to the side. This little orange ring goes right here. Just like so. Had to do all that just to get that back.
No, I'm not in there square. go. That's good to go. Hook the throttle back up. Throttle opens all the way. Chokes tight. Up. I know you're not going to be able to see it. There's a little slot that that goes into. This is going to have to come apart again. But there's a little slot that this choke rod, it's a, it's a slide slot, so to say. And um, I missed it when I was putting it together. But that's the gist of how this goes together. Um, like I said, I'm not going to bore you with the rest of it. I'll, I'll come back and I'll do little segments when I get to the oil pump, show you how I do that. But, um... For all intents and purposes, this saw is, is well on its way to being started. Okay, we'll see. Okay. Uh, we'll just call that little break technical difficulties uh, so that I could cuss and carry on trying to get this back into place. Uh, it is work functioning now. It's functioning as it's supposed to. Now it's time to install the PT or not the PTO but the uh, mag side seal. This is a, a Husqvarna seal driver. Uh, part number I have no idea. What I like to do is take a little Molly grease. Just kind of fill that groove up with it because I don't like to start my seals dry. I used to use oil, but if you're going to leave it set for a period of time before you start it, you may want to try a little grease instead of oil. Not saying that oil doesn't work, but Grease won't run out, won't settle down like oil will. So that's right on there. Okay, there it is. Now I will pressure vacuum test this before I start it. And you know what, while we're right here, I know there's people out there that's going to be curious. squish test. Uh, 
Yeah, that'll work. Okay. It's kind of chilly out here today, and my nose is running. I got a above the wrist pin up against the wall. I've actually got a little too much bent there. No, probably not enough. Okay. There she went. See if my calipers turn on here. <laughs> yeah. It's going to take a little while for it to warm up so we can see it. I can barely see it. This is the end that we just done the squish with. This is the unsquished end here. So we'll get a measurement on it first. Uh, let's turn this over to thousandths of an inch. It's trying to come in. millimeters there's thousands right there zero this thing out I hope you all can see that that's shown sixty two and a half thousandths I can't see it in my little viewfinder here, so I don't know if you can see it. 0 I don't know if you'll be able to see that. Hope you can. Point thirty. Point zero three zero. Thirty thousandths of an inch squish on this saw. So we basically took thirty two and a half thousandths. Well, I can't say that. Let's just see, see what the gasket measures. Nineteen and a half thousandths. So we would have been at forty-nine and a half, right at fifty thousandths squish, if I'd had the gasket and base gasket installed. So. In theory, we took about 19 thousandths out of the squish by going with the base gasket delete. Uh, you'll have a little compression on that gasket. So it'll go from about 19 and a half down to about 19. Thirty thousandths. I don't know if you can see that or not. I hope you can. <clears throat> okay. About time for a new battery for this thing, I'm sure. 
I've got the coil set in place. I've got it pulled all the way back. I've got my kill wire laid in place. So the rest of it is just kind of demographic stuff. Like I said, when I get the oil pump, I'll come back.